Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to write a MATLAB code for Lutka Volterra model that is a prey predator model and a basic relationship model. So the objective I have already told that we will develop a simple code of a prey predator and a very simple relationship model which was given by Strogatz and then we will draw the interpretation of its output. So let's begin. Lotka Volterra gave the first prey predator model. They considered a prey species, let it be denoted by XT, and then they also considered a predator species, let it be denoted by YT. So they developed the basic model. Here, these constants are positive, and obviously, when your Y is zero, that means that if this one, this component is zero, then the prey population will grow exponentially because this will then become zero and you will have only this component and the prey species will grow exponentially and in the absence of prey like if uh, x becomes zero then you can see that the predator population only this much equation will be there and it will decay exponentially cause of starvation it, so these were the assumptions that were made by them that the predator population depends entirely upon the prey population and if uh, predator population is absent then the prey population will grow exponentially so let us see how we can code this on MATLAB here I have taken t from 0 to 20 t will be equal to 0 to 20 and this t will be discretized into 0 then 0 0.01 then 0 0.02 and so on till 20 then this is doing what this is taking a function which is our differential equation this you can say is the differential equation of ray and here you can see that we have set our value of this a and this alpha as 4 and 2 this one is a and this one is alpha and here this one is the equation of predator population and here you can see that we have set the values of c and gamma as 3 and 3 now what we are doing these are the hypothetical values to show you a simulation that how can draw the interpretation from the output for the prey predator interaction now as you know that we can call od45 to solve this differential equation it is taking the this function which is you have written in the just above this then t which we have set from 0 to 20 and this one is a initial condition so initial condition means we have set that at time t is equal to 0 prey population was 10 and the predator population was 5 now this is drawing the figure for time and the species one that means that prey then hold on means that on the same graph we will plot time and predator population obviously this will be plotted with blue and this will be with red and we are labeling it as time and population and this will show you the legend then we are creating another figure by writing this figure so here i am plotting the face portrait in between the first species that is prey and predator and this are giving the labeling now if you run this code in matlab you will obtain these two figures you can easily see that this one is the time axis and this one is a population density axis so you can see since we have taken time from 0 to 20 so it is simulating the result for 0 to 20 and you can see that how oscillatory dynamics is observed between both prey and predator this blue curve is representing prey and this red curve is representing predator it is already mentioned in the legend now the face portrait between the prey predator you can see that when there is plenty full of prey over here so then the predator population will start increasing and then due to the increase in the predator population obviously the prey population will decrease and then when prey population decreases the predator population will ultimately fall to zero and if the predator population 
gets low then obviously the prey population will crease again and the dynamics continue in the cycle of growth and decline so this can be observed from the time series also you can see that we have a periodic increase and decrease of the prey and predator population so you can obviously see that when the prey is at the maximum the predator population due to the surplus of food they will also increase and then because they are increasing they will eat more prey population so the prey population is going near to zero but due to then scarcity of food predator population will also fall and when predator population falls what will happen prey population will get a better chance to live it will again rise and then predator population because it gets a uh, more food now it will also increase and this cycle will continue forever so this was a simple mathematical model that explained the realities which is observed in the nature now we will see a simple trigonometric love model so to arouse our interest in the linear model strogatz gave a very simple romeo and juliet model in 1988 but his romeo behaves differently from the original one and he characterized it by calling him a fickle lover fickle lover means the more juliet loves him the more he runs away and hides but when juliet get discouraged and backs off romeo begins to find her strangely attractive but juliet on the other hand warms up when he loves her and grows cold when he does not so this is the scenario which can be modeled by the differential equation as this now this is a simple linear model and you can find the solution of the differential equation like if we put the value of a and b as 3 and 5 and taking the initial condition as 1 and 0 we have followed the same code as i have explained you for the lotka voltera model here only this equation is for romeo and this one this equation is for juliet now if uh, this simple differential equation is solved using this ot45 in build function we can see that we will get these two graph now what does this graph tell you again you can see the graph between the love intensity and time so this was giving the love intensity of romeo with respect to time and this is the rate of the love intensity of juliet so you can see that here it is also following a periodic type of dynamics and if you see the face portrait between the juliet's love in intensity and romeo's love intensity you can see that if you divide this graph into four parts you can see that at the first half this one is negative right the uh, romeo side love intensity is negative but the juliet love intensity is positive so you can see that here romeo will have a negative feeling and the juliet will get a positive feeling in the second half you can see that both romeo and juliet have the positive love intensity now if you go to the third phase you can see that here now juliet backs off and romeo started getting feeling for her so this one the romeo has a positive and juliet has negative love intensity and in this phase you can see that both of them have the negative love intensity so you can see that only in the second coordinate both are having positive feeling for each other so here also the time series represents the same thing that you can see that how the cycle of the feelings is going on and you can say that only for a quarter period of time they will love each other so this was a simple matlab code for both lotka voltera model and a simple love model which was given by strogatz let us just copy paste these both figures in matlab and see the output over there also now you can see that this one is a lotka voltera model and if i press run button from here so you can see these are the figures which i obtained and i have already shown you in my ppt and explained you the meaning that what does this figure 
indicates now let us run another program that was for romeo juliet model so i will just press run button and then you will see that i am getting this figure which i have already shown i will end this tutorial over here thank you